Hey y'all, welcome to Tamara's Lunchbox, where we eat, talk, and have a good time. Welcome to Tamara's Lunchbox, Monday edition. We're back at a new work week. It's okay. It's a short one for me. I hope your Monday's going good. Um, and let's get started. I got a lot to talk about. Okay. I got my Mountain Dew. And... I'll show you this in just a second. Let me get this going. I've got my phone held in the stand, the little holder thing, to the side. So, uh, with my case on, because you know last time, Wednesday, I didn't have my case on it, but I don't want to keep taking that off. So I pushed it to the side so it'll hold it, but it's still not, it's like it's wanting to lean. So, and I just don't feel like you're straight. Anyway, okay. Um, first, let me go over my food. Um, this is food from the party that I had Saturday for our annual ugly sweater party. Here's my roast and my green beans and corn. <laughs> okay, and while I was down there ordering up my food, there's a place uh, near work. It's about five, maybe almost ten minutes away, called Granny's Donuts. And they make pretty good donuts. It's all made, you know, whatever. Well, they had two boxes sitting there. I'm probably going to regret this later because donuts and me don't tend to get along too well. They're, they do me the same way bananas and cucumbers do me. Now, cucumbers try to take me out. Okay, they try to take me out of this world. They're so bad on me. Bananas are not as bad, but they still give me really bad indigestion. So do donuts. So I got a donut. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm, I'm probably going to regret that, like I said. But maybe it won't be too bad. I've got my tongues if I do. So. For this week, or uh, over the weekend. Um... When I sent out the invite for the party, I put six o'clock. Well, when Facebook posted it, it said seven o'clock. And I knew I had put in six, I knew it. So, that roast. Yeah, I'll get to that next. Um, but instead of making it confusing, I just thought, well, I'll leave it at 7. It's fine, you know. I'm not going to tell people, oh, okay, it's 6 o'clock, but it says 7. I'm not doing that. So Saturday... Now, I started my roast at 12, and they weren't big. I had a one and a half pound and a two pound roast, so that's all I had. Not big, but big enough. So, I get them started, whatever. I'm just going through my day. I mean, I've got things I got to make, but I had made so much Thursday and Friday that I was in really good shape Saturday. I didn't have a whole lot of real work to do. I had, you know, I'd done all the prep work. So everything just had to get warm and then the roast had to cook. So, a little bit after five on Saturday, I went to sit down on the couch and I got my phone and I had a notification from Facebook. So I looked at it. And, you know, Saturday was my birthday, so I was getting a lot of happy birthday posts. Which, if you told me happy birthday, thank you very much. Thank you for all the blessings that I received Saturday. 
the wishes and blessings. Thank you. So, uh, so I sat down and I saw the notification. So I figured that's what it was. So I just tapped it to, so I could say thank you to the person that it posted. It was my invite telling me your party's at six o'clock. Y'all, I went into panic mode. I had to get these green beans started. I had to get mashed potatoes going. I had to get the chicken nuggets in the oven. I had to get the bread in the oven. I had to prepare the salads. I, this thing said 7 o'clock. I had plenty of time at 5. Now I don't. <laughs> so anyway, I got it all done. It was a little bit after 6, but I got it all done. But, y'all. Facebook, this is why you're losing people. Okay? First of all, I don't like, I don't go on there that much anyway. Because it's annoying. But, when I do things like this, I don't need to mess up. Because had I not been paying close enough attention, that would, whole party would have been ruined. I wouldn't have had nothing. I would have had guests and no food. Anyway. So, it all worked out. Food was great. No big deal. But it was a little bit of a panic. <laughs> so, on the roast. This one, I did, like I said, it was a one and a half and I had a two. And I did them in two separate crock pots. Because I don't, they say you can put them in both, but I didn't want to. I was scared they wouldn't get done. So, the roast. Seasoned the roast with a little salt and pepper. That was it. Then put it in a crock pot and added my carrots because I have, um, I got the baby carrots. So they're like that. Gold potatoes. Chopped them up and onions, a sweet onion. Chopped it up. The recipe called for mm, a cup of water a cup of A1 sauce, and a brown gravy packet. And you just mix all that together so it makes a little gravy-like. Pour that over the top of the all your vegetables and meat and all that. Put it on low. So that's what I did. Now, halfway through, about 3 o'clock, yeah, it was about 3 o'clock, it just didn't look wet enough for me. It just, the it's like the juice was there, but it wasn't covering the way I thought it should cover. So I added about a half a cup of, of water to each crock pot. And it was perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's got the best flavor to it. Couldn't ask for it to turn out better. So that's how I made it. Um, it was really good. And as you can see, it's warmed up good. Mwah. I'm having it for lunch. And then, uh, we played Dirty Santa. And I ended up with my own gift. Like I told y'all, I wanted. They picked on me, but I left with a present I liked. <laughs> Not that there wasn't stuff I didn't like, but I just wanted that game. So, it was perfect. And Brian and I played it last night just to see how easy it is and be able to explain how to play it. So, 
So it's going to be a be pretty good. I'm gonna, I plan on taking it to my parents for Christmas and to Brian's parents for Christmas, and we'll get to play the game. Of course, kids will be with us, so they'll think it's fun. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have any footage of the party at all. It was just, once I figured out I was supposed to do it at 6 o'clock, it just didn't pan out. <laughs> But that's how it goes sometimes, isn't it? Yesterday I realized I was uh, putting, um, I'd made sausage balls and stuff like that. I made fudge Saturday afternoon to have at the party. Never cut it, sitting in the refrigerator. We cut it after the party. Heard we were putting stuff away and they were like, you're fudge. I was like, yep, forgot it. <laughs> Too late now. Um, so I have fudge left over, um, I have a little bit of Grinch juice left over. I still need a pineapple can. I used all my pineapple can in the one serving that we had. It was a punch bowl. So I've got a whole thing of Kool-Aid and no pineapple juice. And I've got a ginger ale. So I'm going to make that again. Um... Oh, and as I'm putting stuff away, I realize I had two salads. I had a Caesar salad and a garden salad, house salad normally, just for the different, you know, different tastes for people. Um, I had tomatoes, cucumbers red onion, and croutons for the house salad. Forgot my cheese. Open my refrigerator back up, putting stuff up. There set my bag of cheese. So I forgot to put that out. I'm telling you, I got messed up when that thing changed to six o'clock on me. <laughs> But I'll definitely be making a roast again because this is really good. It just makes that gravy, if you can see it. There it is. That gravy right there is so delicious. And then uh, Saturday, which I noticed it a little bit last week, but you know I've talked about on here before how bad my eyes are, you know, and that I wear contacts because I can't see. Well, they kept telling me. When you turn 40, you're going to need reading glasses. I was just like, okay, great. You know, they kept telling me year after year after year when I was in my 30s. Great, something else to look forward to. So, 40 came and went. 
I have any trouble. Didn't notice anything in my eyes, didn't, nothing. Then when I turned 41 last year, in May of this year, I went to the eye doctor, if you remember. And he upped this one. So, it was just like, okay, a little, little change. But that is for my seeing way off, not my up close. My up close was still fine. So, but last week, I noticed, you know, I have to look at bill of ladings invoices, all that for my job. Well, on the computer, on the computer it's fine. I can blow it up. I have not had any trouble with that. Well, Last week, Wednesday was the last day I worked, and my boss had left, uh, wanted me to handle an account to finish that account out. Well, he had printed the bill of ladings, and you're looking for a certain number on that account, on their bill of lading, you have to put it on the invoice. So, I was looking for that number, and like I said, he had printed it, and it was just on my desk. So it's not like it's sitting up like this, like I'm reading it. It's not that. It's laying flat. And I was like, I could see it, but the really little bitty numbers couldn't see it. And I thought, all right, when I picked it up, I kind of played with it a little bit. I was like, oh, there it is. You know, I could see it. So I fixed it. And I didn't think no more of it. I haven't been able to read the wording that wording right there on chapstick oh look at that clear as a bell <laughs> i haven't been able to read that like i can't get that right there i can't see it. it's blurry to me if i bring it out here well right there right there i can see that oh you're not you're not seeing me there we go i can get it right there and i can read that pretty good it gets a little smaller and I'm, I'm struggling to see that. There we go. I can see the little bitty letters like right there. But come down here, I can see the bigger letters. But you get it right here, I can't see it. <laughs> it is blurry as it can be. So I noticed that, but that's been months ago. Probably working on a year that I noticed that. But it didn't affect anything that I was reading. So Saturday, we ordered uh, Jersey Mike's for lunch. And I done it on the app. And I went to put my payment information in. Y'all, I couldn't see them numbers on my card. Now, the house was dark. Uh, not dark, dark, but, you know, daylight was in, was coming in, but it wasn't lit up like this office is. Should put it that way. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. I can't see these letters, those numbers. So, Mama has a pair of reading glasses at my house in case she's there and needs to read something. She was like, well, here, try them. So, I got them. We got them. I put them on. I held that car. Could see them numbers plain as day. I thought, oh, really? <laughs> I just turned 42. Y'all, the check engine light came on. Yeah. So, um, I forgot to bring them with me today because I'm just not used to carrying them. So, uh, I'm going to remember when I get home, I'm going to put them in my bag and bring them with me tomorrow. So far, I've been playing catch up because I, you know, I took vacation Thursday and Friday. So, I've been playing catch up. So, everything I've had to do has been on the computer. I've not had to read any of the reports and all that. I haven't had to do that yet. But when I do... Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna eat it this way. I'll just have to get sticky. 
I'm just going to try it. I hope it's not cream filled. I don't like cream filled stuff. I hope it's not. And is that, is that filled? Yeah, it looks filled, doesn't it? Well, if it is, it's really little. See? So it's not too bad. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just how it's biting. Anyway. But yeah, so more than likely it won't be long before I won't be able to read nothing. I'll have to have the reading glasses every time I want to read anything. Because I can see my phone okay. You know, your bigger print, I can see just fine. It's just that little stuff. And like I said, on them, on my numbers on my card, couldn't read it. So, but I'll remember hers tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But if you hadn't hit 40 yet, it ain't no fun. I'm just going to go ahead and warn you. <laughs> it's not even fun. And now here I hit, I've hit 42 and can't see. <laughs> it's not fair. But, right now, it's not terrible. Like I said, it's just slight. Slight changes. But, as my boss informed me today, oh, it's going to get worse. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> but anyway. But I hope y'all have a good rest of your Monday. Um, I'll see you back here tomorrow. For Tuesday's edition. And remember, Vlogmas with Tamara is out there. We'll check it out. I've really enjoyed doing those. It's been a lot of fun. And it's just something to keep the Christmas spirit, you know? I enjoy that. All right, y'all. Last bite. Another happy plate. Um, I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a good rest of your Monday. Um, thank you for having lunch with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope your food was just as good as mine. I will be having another roast. <laughs> Might even do one next week. That was good. All right. Y'all have a good rest of your day. May the peace of the Lord be with you until I see you again. And take care. And thank you for watching Tamara's Lunchbox. And check out Vlogmas with Tamara. See y'all tomorrow. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.